there's a whole area of cinema that we are, for the most part, missing out on getting to see. Um, I don't know if you've been to the movies and seen a relationship between two characters and then they get in a sexual relationship and they end up in bed together and what the movie presents about the sex that the two of them have is this montage sequence that looks like it could come from any movie. It has nothing to do with the story or those particular characters. I mean, maybe you even see uh, a hand grabbing a bedsheet as a stand-in for, like, seeing two people who are into each other actually touching one another. Why is that? Why is that that we should treat sexuality like it's so different than the rest of these, the feelings that these two people have for each other? Um, and then on the other hand, obviously we're not lacking for sexual imagery on the internet and in advertising. There's tons of it. Um, but I think a lot of people feel that what's great about sexuality, the best part of sexuality, is not being captured in any of these arenas. And I care very much about this because um, I am an erotic film curator. My name is Jennifer Lyon Bell, and I specialize in putting together for film festivals and arts exhibitions and museums uh, programs of films that are very hard to find anywhere else that are erotic but incorporate explicit sexuality. And I started doing this because I'm an erotic filmmaker myself, and it was hard to find places where I could show my films. So um, these films will run in film festivals, but they're not listed for the most part, and they're not allowed to be on platforms that other filmmakers can use, like um, Vimeo and YouTube, and they're not eligible, no matter how good they are, for streaming subscription platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime, uh, because explicit sexuality isn't allowed there. Why should that be? So understandably, most people have never seen them before, so they don't know what they're missing out on, but these films show sex in a totally different right way. They're shown um, in relationships that have all different kinds of emotions attached to it. The way that they show sex is unflinching. We're not looking away. They're honest. Um, they have diversity, so we're seeing a diversity of bodies. We're seeing a diversity of sexual orientation. We're seeing a diversity of um, even what is considered sex, so that you might be able to see a film like this and walk away and... Uh, you might be able to see a film like this and walk away and question, really, what is sex and what is relationships. And these films are also made very specifically by a lot of these filmmakers with ethics in mind, thinking about how can we capture something that's important to say about sexuality, but not only without doing harm to any of the performers who are participating, but creating something that we all feel good about putting out there in the world. And I think all of these things are worth championing, and it's understandable that most people haven't seen them before because they're hard to find. So that's why I'm presenting uh, my idea for South by Southwest that I would like to come and show some of these films and explain what's special about them so that you can see for yourself what we've been missing out on. And once we've seen these films, then we can judge as a cinema society, but then also, as a general society, what is to be gained by shunting sexuality off to the side as if it's not important, as if it's dirty, as if it's something to be ashamed of, when in fact it's a huge part of life for so many people, and it ought to be a huge part of cinema too. So please vote for my presentation so that I can come to South by Southwest and share these films with you.